Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be, she's touching me again. Goody. It's a good thing. Got an email here from a viewer. He says, hey, Corey, thanks again for the last coaching session that I had with you. He says, I've been working on getting dates with new women. He said, I've had a couple of rejections. And it seems like everyone has a boyfriend or is married in my world, but having little fear in asking a gal out or talking to them. Good. That's all that matters, dude, because it's a numbers game. At the end of the day, it's a numbers game, especially when you're just starting out with this stuff. Because if you've never asked out a lot of women, you ask the first 20 that you ask out, it's going to be nerve-wracking. It's going to be a new experience. It's going to be odd. And like in the back of your mind, there's always going to be, oh, she's not going to say yes. She's going to say no. And what happens is when you do it enough and you start to see positive reaction from a few women, it starts to scramble your brain a little bit because you start going, wait a minute. She's actually saying yes to going out on a date with me. That, that's a whole new experience. And it rewires your brain. And so where you only had unsuccess before, you start to replace it with actual successes. He says, I will need to keep it going moving forward and just relax and enjoy the ride. He says, this girl from work is back at being flirty. And this particular client, he came to me. There was a girl that he, he was hooking up with from work. And he basically acted like a little weak bitch. And he got stuck in friend zone. And so she started dating and sleeping with somebody else from work. And he just became really needy, super pleaser. And she was blowing him off, not giving, paying any attention. And so he went back to focusing on himself, focusing on meeting new women, and not really paying much attention at all to that girl from work because after all, she's dating and sleeping with some other dude now. And so he says, she's back to being flirty and today she was grabby. She gave me a hug and really friendly. So I got sucked into saying, let's to get together again. He says, he says, he says the third time in a row, he says, again, she says she's busy, too busy to plan anything. And she says she doesn't want to tempt me into thinking she might come over. We even had some sexy banter and instant messages afterwards, which she, she ends with, now I'm getting tempted. He says, I will wait for her to give me the what are you doing question, and then, I'll, and then bring up. So basically what happens, he kept asking her to do something. She kept saying, no, 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 no. And I said, don't ask her anymore. And when she reaches out to you, to chat for a couple of minutes, and then just say, hey, it was nice hearing from you. I got to run. Keep in touch. And then get off the phone and one of two things will happen. She'll either stop calling or she'll ask you to do something. And so that's the stage that she's at now. And so she went from totally not giving a fuck about him and ignoring him completely to now she's all touchy-feely and flirting with him and trying to reel him in. And so it was like he tests the waters again to see if, if she's open to getting together. But he didn't do what I told him to do, which is to not bring up doing something. And he did it again. And so now she knows that he's still willing to get together and do something. And so typically what happens is they'll back off a little bit. But you just have to stick to it because, what, like I said, what will eventually happen is she'll either leave you alone altogether or she'll ask you to do something. So obviously she's thinking about it. And it's a scientific fact that women are more attracted to men whose feelings are unclear. And so by being mysterious and not bringing up getting together again, if there's still any kind of interest in her, her part. And the other thing I keep in mind is this other guy that she's hooking up with, if he's like most dudes out there, like 97% of them, there's a good chance he doesn't know the stuff that I teach. And so it's just simply a matter of time before he starts screwing up and acting weak and gets to the point where she starts to lose interest in him and then she starts to think more about this other particular guy that, that wrote me the email. And then that's when she brings up getting together. And it works beautifully. Like I said, you'll either, you'll either get her again or you'll find somebody better, sir. So either way, it's a win-win for you. So if you have a question you want to ask me, go to my website, click the Contact Me tab, which will be on the left-hand side of your screen, and send me one or two paragraphs max, and just give me several days to get back to you with a response. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. You can do that by going to my website. And at the on the top of your screen, the just click the Products tab and just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle ebook on my website underneath the email sign up box is a box that has a link that will take you right to the Amazon Kindle download page for my book. Once you get there, if you don't have a Kindle device, 
just download one of their free e-reader apps for whatever electronic device you want to read it on. And if you appreciate the value of the information I offer in these video newsletters, the articles on my website or my ebook, you can show your appreciation right now by going to my website and on the Wibby toolbar at the bottom of your screen, click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information. And I will talk to you soon.